Schlüssel. Naja, 40, 4. Das wird sehr knapp. Hi, good morning to all of you. Thank you for watching. And uh, we are uh, witnessing today the World Cup, Fig Apparatus World Cup 2023. Yeah, we're happening in Katpus, Germany. This is live from Dutch um, TV. Uh, just go beyond in rank one involved with 14.483 total score. This is the finals for women's balance beam and men's vault. You can comment down below whatever part of the world you are. Okay, it's really amazing. It's woman <coughs> Later, Miguel Bisanya will uh, from the Philippines will perform. It's amazing, great, great balance. Nice, nice turns, no fall. Perfect executions, beautifully made. Great job. Nice, it's great job. Great dismount. It was beautifully made indeed. <laughs> Again, welcome back to Chris RD channel. Yeah. Hope you subscribe and like this channel. You can chat down below what your favorite country. Later, the men's parallel bar and uh, happening right now is the vote men's vote final and also the women's um, balance beam final. This is Ruby Evans from Germany. It's both beautifully made those balance beam. Great job. Yes, yeah, Serbi Evans, 13.033, round 2, currently round 2, 4, and even, uh, so, for the balance beam. R um, Ruby Evans from Great Retain. From Hong Kong, we have Y Hong Shek from Hong Kong. 
right? He will do the volt. Let's watch his volter. It's really great. We're hoping that this man from Hong Kong will participate or will be involved in the World Championship for 2023. Okay, let's watch his volt. Oh, <laughs> that's a great vote, but there will be a deduction because of the stepping outside the line. Maybe oh, a point three or point one. Great job, Mr. Hong Kong. So watch the slow motion. Stepping backward is a deduction of points, and stepping outside the line will be a deduction of points. It's just the the height is good, but the, the position of the feet in the air is not that perfectly glued. It should be perfectly glued. Oh, we, we are buffering. <laughs> Here's our first score was 14.766, difficulty of 6 and execution of 8.866. There's a penalty of 0 0.1 of stepping outside the line. Wai Hongshek of Hong Kong. Now we are going to watch his um, second vault. I don't know if Miguel Bisanya of the Philippines is uh, if he already performed. Wow. wow, great job for the Dragulesco. But there will be a deduction of point at stepping backward. Great job, Team Asia. <laughs> Before Asia is Hong Kong and doesn't have yet, hasn't placed yet in the recently in the World Championship. No placement yet in the current World Championship. Let's watch the the motion. This is the Dragulesco. Great height. Just stepping backward, but uh, the the chest has landed in the upper right position. Well, great job for that and thank you for tuning in. I hope you will. I just have to reply because I'm fully using my cell phone. I will have to reply in my. Um, I am. Let's be back here. And don't forget to subscribe, like in this channel, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> well, this uh, lady is, I believe, is, she's from Germany. <laughs> I forgot to tell where she's came from. Oops, so <laughs> great job, great, um, good here, she recover. Oh, 
That's great dismount. <laughs> great job for that. Lovely performance. So this is hesitation. I believe there will be a deduction for some hesitation, but she recovered well. Let's watch the emotion of her performance. She's from uh, what country is this? I believe she's from Belgium or something. Don't forget to comment down below your uh, city, city where, where you came from, and also uh, your favorite gymnast. So, great job. Great dismount. Oh, she's from Portugal. Great job, it's Portugal. Let's watch her score of our gymnast from Portugal. Philippa Martins from Portugal, rank 1. Difficulty of 5 with execution score of 8 1 3 3. There's no penalty. <laughs> Great job from Portugal. It's from Germany, Tom Schultze. Tom Schultz from Germany. Now we're going to watch the his first vault. Hajar Gulesko, ops! That would be deduction. Oh, just sitting on the floor will have a, a, a massive deduction and, and stepping backward. So, this is gonna be a, a lot of deduction from this great young man from Germany. This is a great, great he, he did under rotation. See, the height is not that high. That's why there, there was an under rotation. Did it touch? Yes, it touched the floor. See the second fold. I don't know. This is slow motion. Did it touch the floor? Yeah, it touched the floor. So it will be a great deduction. But he did well for his Dragulesco. But because of the um, under rotation, because of the because of the under rotation, he will have a massive deduction of of that. Just comment on below if you can see it clearly. The good screen. Thirteen point six six six. So he he loses his difficulty, and execution is good, but he loses his difficulty. Five point two only the difficulty. He loses his difficulty score. It was. Let's watch his second vault. A uh, great job, <laughs> great job for that Sukahara, that's Sukahara, that's Luchenko, nice, handspring, right, it's a great job, oh sorry for the <laughs> lagging because this is a live stream from Germany, legs are glued together, great height with uh, double twisting turns, see is this double twisting or two and a half, it's one, Two, it's two and a half, two and a half turns, and uh, stepping backward will have cost you some points. It's not stick on the floor. It's not perfectly done, but it can be as good for a you know for a for a debutant in this uh, World Cup World Stage from Germany. It's a great performance. Comment down below wherever part of the world you are and whoever is your um, favorite gymnast. Let's 
Tom Schultz, uh, rank 3, 14.3 score, total is 13.983. It will be hard for him to be in the podium with that kind of score. Surely, it will, it will, it, it's not a podium score. <laughs> From Uzbekistan, the Rapova. Oh, that must be a deduction of one whole point because that's a fall. Oh, second fall, that will be another deduction that will cost you two points, two whole points. It will be very hard for him, for her now to be in the podium from Uzbekistan. It's too, it's too painful to see it like that. She now looks like demotivated. Well, actually, she's in top of the line. But one of the top qualifiers. I hope she recovers well. It's a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I will just have to use my <laughs> because I, actually I'm using this as my. Uh, we are just you using the laptop, no? I have to message one of my friend. Yeah. Comment the below with every part of the world you are. Let's see his, uh, her score from Uzbekistan. It's just, it's just unfortunate that the fig doesn't have a live from their YouTube channel, right? Oh. Probably an 11 point something score. She fall and that would be a um, whole two points deductions from the execution score. Well, I think they are having a break or while well, waiting for they're waiting for a score, still tabulating the score. By the way, do not forget to subscribe, like and share in this channel, in this Chris RD Gymnastic channel for more live um and up updates. Rank four with eleven point zero six six score. Yeah, she's in rank four. Dildora Ripova of Uzbekistan. Because of the, they are very disappointed. You know, it's you know it's very disappointing to see uh, this coach being disappointed to you. Let's welcome Arthur Dabdian, the reigning world Olymp uh, champion in vault this 2022. Reigning vault champion, world champion, and reigning Olympic gold medalist, Arthur Dabdian. Let's watch the first vault. Wow, Dragulesco. Great job! Woo! That's a great job for Arundhati to stick on the floor. Chest is very high. A great landing, of course. Not under-rotated. Very great. <laughs> this, this must be a, you know, a golden performance indeed. Great job, Arundhati. See? Great high and great landing. <laughs> If you, uh, Arthur Dobson is really the king of the vault. He is very consistent in vault. Mm -hmm. 
the second uh, the prince of the vault is Carlos Yulo but Carlos Yulo will, will not going to perform in this finals because he did not qualify during the qualification maybe he has, has a lot of uh, deductions or during the Resiguang 2 wow 15.166 the same score that he had during the world championship is consistent the good thing about Arthur Dapian is he is consistent with vault I think you know the secret of being uh, a master of uh, an apparatus is to just concentrate on one or two apparatus it's fine if you will be having an all-around it's hard uh, next is Miguel Bisanya from the Philippines but perform now in a while let's watch the second vote of Arthur Dabtian Oh, wow, double check. Well, that's great turn and a great height, not under rotated. Feet are glued together. Great landing. This must be a gold. And this is supposed to be a podium. This must be a podium um, reward or podium performance. Highly likely that he can be the gold here. Great job, Arthur Dabtian. That 29 years old from Armenia. Great job, triple twisting turns. Is it three? One, two, three. Yeah, three twisting turns. Feet are good together, right? Yeah, that's great job. We're for sure very happy with the score. Rank one with 15.133. This is a golden performance since Carlos Yuli is not around he will not be participating in the finals there's a high possibility that Arthur Dabtian will win for the gold medal that must be a clear gold medal for Arthur Dabtian Now, uh, preparing now for the second uh, rotation or for the second uh, batch of the vault. In Chinese Taipei, there's one, one, one here is from Iran and one also is from uh, Ukraine. Maybe, I don't know if Miguel Bisanya is already. This, uh, yeah, Miguel Bisanya of the Philippines is going to perform. I hope he will perform well. I don't expect um, to have a high score for Miguel, but I hope that it will, whatever difficulty in execution or skills that he has on uh, vote, he are go he's going to perform it well, he per he's going to perform it clean. And this is the first time for this Iranian man to be debutant on the floor. And Bisanya is the first time also to perform in the world stage. Yeah, bro. Hi. Thank you for the comment. Ah, uh, yeah, bro. Um, sana si Miguel Bisanya, no. Alam mo, hindi ko hindi ko inexpect na um, maging of course kasi yung difficulty ni Miguel Bisanya sa vault hindi naman talaga ganun kataas. Pero my performance talaga ng malinis yung kanyang vault. May perform na walang injury, may perform na perfect. Ayun, alam mo, that's my great hope and we are praying for that that God bless Miguel Bisanya, you know, from the Philippines. He will be the first performer in this batch. Miguel Bisanya of the Philippines. Go Philippines! God bless Miguel. Sana wag siyang kabahan. Smile Miguel. Miguel Bisanya of the Philippines. He's 19 years old. The first, uh, the second elite gymnast of the Philippines. He's the second from Carlos Yulo to perform. That uh, that is his uh, coach, uh, B uh, Kapilan, Rayland Kapilan, the coach of Miguel Bisanya. So they are just going right now a uh, um, a warm up. This man is from Iran, a debutant also in the world stage. He's a great voter also. Iranians are strong actually, but uh, we hope that the, whatever dispute are having in their um, country, it will be resolved. And they're going to support their athlete well because they have uh, the um, the ring performed, the ring athletes. 
from Iran. He is a silver medalist, and this now uh, Iran. This man from Iran is a good vaulter also. You can see the Japanese team ladies are you know, they're very young, right? To perform. I'm very sorry for the resolution of the live because this is just a live stream from if you want to watch this from your own computer you can. Just go to I have posted the link in the Philippine Gymnastics. Or you can comment down below if you want to watch this in your own. I can post the link. So, I'm going to see Miguel Bisanya. Um, let's watch the lady from. Uh, the nation is not clear. Sorry. Up! Oh! <laughs> That's the deduction. Rating, she did not fall. Great job. Balancing. Nice. Great turns. Great job. Perfectly executed in divine. Wow, great job. If ever she just perfected the mounting, she can have she can be in the full zoom. I hope she can perfect her mounting the next World Cup. That will be last next month, next week in Doha. Okay. Oh, good dismount, but there was a, it's not perfect, surely there will be a deduction in the execution score. The execution, not maybe deduction, but low execution score because of the mount and dismount. In the gymnastics, dismounting is very important, but a great job that she did not fall. Because if someone falls in gymnastics, that will be hard. Deductions, right? Wait, this mount. Let's watch her score. She's from Norway. Norway are not having really. They are not really having a an elite gymnast for European. Most of the elite gymnasts in Europe are coming from Great Britain and Germany. She needs more practice, and because this, these are college students, these are this. These people are not professional yet, they are still studying, so studying plus gymnastics. Maria Thornrid, 12.533 score, 7.533 execution, 5.0 difficulty, Maria Thornrud of Norway. <laughs> Let's welcome Miguel Desanya of the Philippines! Wancho Miguel Desanya, the 9 years old from Philippines, God bless bro! Yan, enjoy lang. Hinakabad ako dito. Galimuhan bro. Lumaki na siya ha. Ay! Oh my god! Oh! Shop! Kinabihan si Miguel. That must be a deduction. Kinabahan si Miguel. Like over rotated siya. Ups. Oh, hindi siya na balance yung pagbagsak niya. 
Sayang Sayang oh Hindi na siya makakapag-podium nito Kasi that will be one whole point deduction Plus the stepping backwards Every step that you make uh, will be deductions. One. Oh my God. I just hope that wala siyang, ano, wala siyang injury. It's fine, Miguel. We are still very proud of you. No problem. This must, he, must, he must be a top 8 maybe in the ranking because of that. He can be placed in 8. 13.166 score. Mm, maybe will be a top 8. Want you Miguel Bisanya. He cannot be anymore in the podium, but it's fine. Raylan Kapilan. Okay, let's watch a second vote, Miguel. Bring it on, Miguel. Yun, oh, Yuchenko. So, great job, Miguel. <laughs> there are uh, stepping. Great job. Great job, Miguel. Stepping one, two. Every step that you make, there will be a deduction. Great job, Miguel. Should he grew up now? One, two. Uh, rank 5, currently in rank 13.483. Currently on rank 5 for one Chumige Bisanya. <laughs> Still happy, right? If rank 5, it may be at a rank 8. It's fine, Miguel. God bless you, bro. Urara Ashikawa. The, she's a, a reigning Olympic, champ, Olympic uh, medalist for this uh, apparatus. In the world champion for 2021. She's the top qualifier for Balance Beam. Great balancing, wow, perfectly executed, and also it's very divine. This is really a textbook gymnastics. Great, wow. <laughs> With that beautiful turn, you really can praise her, this woman. Great job. Great job. Miguel Bisanya of the Philippines uh, will not could be in the podium because of the fall, but it's fine. I believe the next of this is parallel bars. Great job. I think parallel bars is done already. It's finished.
Great job! I think she will be in rank one because of that scores and uh, executions. Let's have tea. <laughs> Takes time to wait for the score. They're still tabulating the score. Turnier, their mister. Oh, Miguel will also be competing next month. Yes, yes, yes. Miguel will be competing in um next month. Actually, that will be next week in Doha, Qatar, because the Doha, Qatar, the the FIG World Champ uh, World Cup will be in March one. Congratulations, Urara Ashikawa. 14.066 total score, situation 8.266, and difficulty of 5.8. Yes, Miguel Bisanya will be competing on Doha, Qatar with Carlos Yulo. The, in this FIG World Cup, the top 8 is will be automatically... Um, you know, uh, they will be automatic uh, qualified for World Championship if you will be in top 8 in the World Cup Series. If you got the top eight scores, even you are in the top eight, you will still be qualified for world championship. As long as you uh, you are in top eight scores. Oh, oh, sayang. Chinese Taipei, magsak yung ano. I think Volt is really difficult, no? Ang hirap ng Volt talaga. Well, actually, Miguel Bisanya, yes, Miguel Bisanya is going to um, compete in uh, World Cup Doha next week. That they are go after this uh, cut was Germany, they are going to fly na to fly back to um, Doha, Qatar. All of them, <laughs> those who will join. Yeah, so please uh, don't forget to comment down below wherever part of the world you are. Wei Xiang Teng of Chinese Taipei, she got a five point six heroes difficulty and seven point nine nine. 13.5 Oh, I think this Miguel Bisanya will be on 8th place because of that Executions, it's fine. There is there are still a World Cup 3 World Cup that will be happening on soon Second bolt Wow, let's go to great Rese Guang <laughs> <laughs> Great job! You know, it's really hard to to execute that Rese Guang too because Carlos Yulo, he did a lot of mistakes doing the Rese Guang. Let's watch the Rese Guang 2 of Chinese Taipei. Perfect, wow. Oh, feet are glued together. But the, just the chest was um, in a bit low during the landing. Oh, there's a hoop, and that hoop will cost you uh, deductions, but it's still great executions. Maybe this will be a 14.8 score, or 14.9. Surely he will get the difficulty of 6, but how about the execution? Ah, difficulty is only 5.6, and execution is 9. 14.050 rank 4. He didn't get the difficulty score because of the hoop. Hua Chen Teng of Chinese Taipei for the balance beam. Let's watch it. Great. 
great great job chinese taipei are also great in gymnastics nice she's performing well but the difficulties is not that high like if these are this is more of a uh more of a basic executions if you're going to compare her execution with Simone Biles or, with, or, sorry, or that man, woman from Japan still needs some lots more practice but great clean execution that's very important you need to have a clean execution oh, oh great oh <laughs> that is a great recovery <laughs> that's a great recovery Great job! <laughs> That's a great recovery from the Chinese Taipei. Nice mounting. She did balance well. Again, welcome back to Chris RD channels and don't forget to subscribe, like and share this channel. Please don't forget to subscribe because most of you are just watching and subscribing. Please subscribe to this channel for more updates in gymnastics. Tomorrow I will go into upload the summary of these competitions and I will be working off on it today. Please subscribe. Thank you very much. Let's watch, uh, wait for her score. Let's watch the score now. Still tabulating the score. Germany are just simple. Uh, Germany is just simple, no? European European people are simple. <laughs> they look dignified also. What what Chen Ting is uh, on third position with thirteen point one score, execution of seven point seven here and difficulty of five point seven. Oh, let's welcome the man from Asia, Madi Olfati from Iran. It's great to see Asian people coming here. It's very rare that uh, uh, Iran will will send someone for this uh, world stage. He's a good vaulter also, and we are counting on him. Sorry for the this <laughs> it's buffer buffering because it's um, live, no. Oh, what happened? Uh, just hold on for the it's still buffering. It's still buffering, okay? Whoa! Wow! <laughs> That's great, Jurassic Wang too. Omg! Great people are rising in vault. He's strong. He's promising. He can be in silver pla place. Or maybe gold. I hope he will get the six points here difficulty. Great height. See, there is a hope that that must be a deduction, uh, like one point zero point one. But still with a great position during the landing. See, wow. Great landing for the Iranian man. 
Wow, he's strong. <laughs> Great job, Iran. Fates are good together and also great form. 15.066 score. Woo! Come on, Iran. I hope he can be in podium. This is a podium score for Iran. Madi Olfati. Oh, I hope he this he will not buffer anymore. Let's watch for the second vote. He's figuring out what he will do. Come on, Iran. Wow! OMG! He, he can be in a gold position because of that! Oh, there, there will be a new uh, king of the pole, right? OMG, Iran! Great job, Iran! Who would have known that Iran is having a great voter? He can be in gold position. Because of this, he can beat Carlos Yulo in vault in the World Championship. If if Iran, Mr. If Mr. Iran will be very consistent with his performance, he can uh, defeat Carlos Yulo. The question is, wow, rank two, fourteen point nine. It's still a good uh, position. Uh, I think uh, because of the hoop, because of the hoop, Iran got uh, in the rank two. Great job, Iran. So now there is now a arrival of Carlos Yulo for the vote. Iran. If Iran will be very consistent with his performance until the World Championship, he can beat Carlos Yulo because of his performance. The only question is that how can they be, you know, to be consistent with their um. Uh, with their performances. Well, there will be three World Cup and we will see how consistent Iran can be. But I hope Iran can be consistent and I hope that Carlos Yulo will be very consistent now with his performance and will master all of his uh, executions. Let's go back. Spark case. Oh, great job from Chinese Taipei. Very young lady. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's still buffering. Sorry for the buffers, my friend, because um, we are having watching from the live stream. Oops. Maybe she's just only 16 years old. Very small lady. <laughs> Great job! <laughs> Great dismount! Yeah, from Japan! Yeah! I believe she is in the second place, she has second top the second top qualifier in Balance B. Wow, it's a great turn. <laughs> Please comment down below if someone, if some people of you are doing gymnastics also. You can come comment down below if you are doing gymnastics. If you are doing this balance beam, <laughs> which is very hard. And going for the dismount. Wow, feet are glued together. A triple turn, do uh, yeah, two and a half turns from Japan. Great job! <laughs> Japanese are really a great gymnast. 
to the buffering. Sorry for the buffer. <laughs> Sorry for the buffer, friends. Mana Okamura is on rank 1. 5.7, 8.433 execution. Difficulty 5.7. Total score is 14.133. Rank 1. Wow. She beats the... She can be in podium. This is, let's watch the uh, Alien Covton for the Vault. I forgot. I cannot see all your cha chats. Up next, parallel bar. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, parallel bar. Hey, hey, bro, Pyrus. Bisanya, bro, Pyrus. Sayang, bro. Nagamal isi bisanya natumba sa vault, bro. Bisanya uh, probably will be on rank eight. Eh, 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 pra, pa, hindi na possible na mag-rank 4 siya Mag-rank 8 na siya kasi nagkamali siya bro Shout out to my friend <laughs> From the Philippines Visanya is um, I'm suspecting that she can be on rank 8 To the last position Because uh, he did a lot of mistakes I think parallel bar is done I think the next one will be high bars I don't know ha Because uh I hope maybe parallel bars is the next Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. It's a, the next, the next will be parallel bars. Next event is parallel bars. Oh, second. Let's watch for the second boat of Ukraine. Ian Kofton, the veteran. Dragulesco. Oh, stepping outside the line will be. Uh, a deduction and second backward. PB and high bars siguro hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totoo bro. Uh, parallel bar ang sunod, then high bars. Oh, kasi sa world championship, di ba? Nag-bolt muna, tas nag-high, nag-parallel nag bar, tas nag-high bars. Oo. Kasi nagsimula ito sa Oman, 4.30pm. Uh, yeah, ito nga pala yung first event. <laughs> Comment comment lang kayo ha kasi para magkausap-usap tayo and kung gusto niyo din magbigay ng stars pwede rin. <laughs> Ilya Kofton. He can be in a third place position maybe. But great surprise for Iran is a uh, wow 15.09. Okay, Ilya Kofton is in rank 5 with 14.266 total score. The second bolt was 13.966. There's a lot of um there's a lot of uh deduction in Ilian Kofton second bolt. Let's talk first uh, they are still um I think the the bolt and balance beam is finished. Okay, there are the gymnasts will will they will just going to have a startup or some they're going to have some program there. And Miguel Bisanya po ng mga taga Pilipinas, sabi speaking Filipino, si Miguel Bisanya po ng Pilipinas, hindi po siya mag mag, uh, mag rank for, mag last rank po siya kasi nagkamali po siya sa first um vault niya, yung uh, double twisting niya, two and a half twisting niya natumba po siya. So Miguel Bisanya rank 8 siya. Pero okay lang 'yon, as still kasi hanggang basta na sa rank 8 ka ng aparato sa 'yon, makakapag world championship ka pa rin naman eh. 'Yun ang mahalaga basta ma you can be qualified in world championship. Then after this, next after um 6 days, it will be World Cup Doha naman. 'Yon. And now they're going they're performing. So let's watch the the gymnast from Germany dancing. Just stay here because the, the next will be a vault final. No, no, parallel bar finals. And I hope Carlos Yulo will be on top of the line that he will, you know, he can be a good uh, performer. He will not have uh, deductions. Right. And like that only. Hmm. Yeah. So it was a surprise for Iran to be in the second place. The top uh, performer in the vault, men's vault, is um, Armenia. Just to have some um, some recap, Armenia is at the top of the line. He is the Armenia, um, Arthur Dabtian, and the second is Iran. 
Ah, uh, Kaloy. Clean description for Kaloy for sure. Yes, good willing, bro. Bro, hindi ko kasi mabasa masyado yung mga comment niyo eh, kasi I'm using cellphone. Naka ano siya. Ayun, okay lang 'yon. God willing, ay yeah, clean execution for for car. 'Yun lang talaga, no. Maging clean lang yung executions. Okay na, okay na 'yon. No, 'yun lang talaga. 'Yun ang um, sikreto para mag-podium mo si Kaloy dito. Pero ang uh, mahalaga talaga dito is bagal sila makapag-qualify sa sa World Championship. Um, usap lang tayo ng kaunte. Kung mga Pilipino po kayo, comment down below. If you're outside, coming outside from the Philippines, comment down below also. You know, I have a feeling that Carlos Yulo is having a demotivation in in uh, gymnastic because whenever he is having an uh, interview with 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 one of the with one of the uh, while I'm talking, let's watch lang the video. <laughs> You know, Carlos Yulo is having a, I believe he is having a, demo, he is being demotivated in gymnastics. He is being now in a six years because the last time that he has a, um, he has a interview with, with, uh, he has interview with the young Pasilier who said that he can, he, he feels that sometimes he's thinking that he doesn't like anyone to do gymnastics something like that and i think he feels demotivated and pressured maybe in the chat is uh something like that i believe carlos is much, much better for him just to focus on three apparatus not anymore to go for all around it's just only that's only for my thought i hope you will uh, agree with that just to focus on, on apparatus single apparatus rather than to be in all around because if you she will he will just be focusing on the three apparatuses Then it will be there will be a high chance for him to always be in the podium rather than to go for all around every world championship. At least there will be a uh, you know um, a high chance for him to be in the podium. So like something like that. So what's your thought about it? <laughs> something like that. Uh, the ladies are now the girls are now. Uh, finished performing and we are now um, waiting for the parallel bars please do not leave because the next in line will be parallel bars and we show to you the video after now the boys the little boys will perform let's watch the little boys who will perform One to five class. Ah, grade one to grade five. <laughs> These are the cute boys. Uh, they are from grade one to grade five. They will do gymnastics. Let's watch them. These are the future gymnasts of the of Germany. <laughs> oh, uh, it's buffering. Just hold on lang po kayo and please do not leave because the next will be or you can go back if you leave is fine then just you go back in after a few minutes the next um, will be parallel bars finals <laughs> I believe si Pyrus dito ano si Pyrus eh nagagalito rin si Pyrus <laughs> Comment on below lang po kayo. Uh, yeah, it's buffering actually. Um, it's fine lang. Naghahanda sila. The, they are now um, preparing for the second event which will be the Parallel Bars Finals. Uh, like something like that. Yeah. And, and, and please do not forget to subscribe back in this channel. Buti po may live kayo. Hirap ako maghanap ng live streaming. Hey, thank you po. For Kalo. Yeah, bro. Kalo for sure. God willing. Yeah, actually bro, walang live sa ano, walang live sa YouTube. Nagpun may nangadap ako ng website. Pumun actually German pa yung actually the website is in German language. Then I translated the, the content to be in English. Nahanap ko siya, may mga doon, Turner. Eh, ayan yung ranking ng ano, so sa si Bisanya is in top 8. 13.483, top 1 is from Armenia, top 2 is Iran, Madi. As it was expected, uh, but if ever Bisanya for um, balance beam, top one is Japan and top two is Japan. Mana Okamura, top two is Japan also. Orara Ashikawa, 14.066 and Portugal Filipa Martins for top three. This is uh, and Uzbek Great Britain Ruby Evans is a. Uh, now they are going to be in the podium. Oh, they will have a podium, podium medal. 
Yeah, bronze medalist from Portugal. Congratulations. Oo, bro. Kasi hinanap ko lang tong ano, eh. <laughs> Na-research ko lang siya kung saan yung live stream. Congratulations, the lady from Portugal. Uh, silver medalist. Actually, he is, she is the top modifier in balance beam. Nagkamali lang siya na kaunti, kaya naging silver siya. Bilog talaga ang mundo sa gymnastic, eh. Miss Okamura of Japan, the gold medal is in balance beam in this World Cup cut boost. Great job. Great job, Team Japan. Uh, walang Chinese. Nag-compete ba ka, ano? Federation Championship yun. Oo, oh, bro. Walang Chinese na nag-compete. Wala yung mga Chinese kasi yung mga uh, Chinese, lalaban sila sa uh, yung mga Chinese, bro, lalaban sila sa, ano, sa Chinese people. Chinese students will join the Asian Championship. They have that, uh, they can be qualified in Asian Championship and also they can be qualified in Asian Games. To be qualified in, uh, of course, they will be qualified. Miguel, okay lang yan. Yeah, okay lang yun. Makompete baka, mas makompete yun. Makompete yun. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, si Miguel, okay lang siya. Ma mananalo pa rin si Miguel. Okay lang si Miguel. Basta, kasama siya sa top 8, sa cut boost, okay lang siya. Sa Doha, kailangan niya maging consistent na mas pasama sa top 8 si Miguel Bisanya para makapag-world championship siya. After ng, ng Doha, pupunta sila ng um, Uzbekistan. Uh, Azerb sorry, Azerbaijan. You're right? Azerbaijan yata. After one week, one week lang pagitan ng mga ito. After one week nito, pupunta sila sa Doha. After ng Doha, one week ang pagitan, pupunta naman sila sa Azerbaijan. Magkira sila ng 3 weeks, then they're going to go for Egypt naman for World Cup. Kailangan ni Miguel Bisanyan para makapag World Championship siya is to be consistent in top 8. Yun lang, to be consistent in top 8 in that 4 World Cups, then he can go for World Championship. Then along the way, this uh, Bisanyan okay na yun. Yes, okay na yun. Basta maka, Miguel Bisanyan will just be in top 8. Okay na okay yun. And that will be a sure ball for Miguel Bisanyan of the Philippines to be included in the World Championship. Then along the way, he can be practiced he can practice his uh, execution and to, to his for his uh, along the process of being exposed in the um, you know international stage it will be good for Miguel Bisanya yeah so great job Philippines to be in, Miguel Bisanya to be included in the finals because you know as you can see during the you um, as you can so now they are just uh, preparing for the parallel bars for mass parallel bars just stay tuned we just talk for a while before they are going because you know I have to make content like this to make a commentary for me not to be uh, punched by YouTube so I have to make this one um, so during the Asian Championship 2022 Miguel Bisanya did not uh, was not able to participate in the finals of both but this uh, World Cup he was able to participate in the both even he, he did not perfect his execution Miguel Bisanya is fine he was in top 8 so as long as he will be cons uh, consistent in, in top 8 uh, he can be uh, included in the World Championship. Nagulat ako sila, si, si Yulo na next, yes. Uh, let's watch now the the medal. Wow, Iran, no, wow! Woo! Great job, Bigan. Nag-try, mag-qualify si Miguel. Nag-try, yeah. Si Miguel Bisanya will be qualified for World Championship if ever he will be consistent sa kanyang performance. Um, Hong Kong, great job, Hong Kong. For your, ano, oo, oh, oh, HB lang, lang ang bold. Haba lang ang bold. Oo, oh, oh, go lang ng bold. Go lang, practice na ng practice. Madi. Si Madi of Iran, congratulations. Asia to. Wow, it's a, you know, this is a surprise for Iran to have a two. Iran now is having a two elite gymnast. The other Iranian is um, silver, med, silver medalist in steel rings. Arthur Dabchan, the king of the bold, the one to be beat by Iran in Carlos Yulo. Sinalihan ni Miguel. Oh, oh, HB and uh, both sinalihan ni Miguel. Yes. High bars and both sinalihan ni Miguel. Pero hindi siya na qualify sa high bars eh. 
Kasi medyo mababa pa yung mga skills niya sa high bars. Arthur Dabtian. Great job, Arthur Dabtian. Huh. It's really, you know, a surprise for Iran to be in the podium. Wow, great job for Iran. Thank you for staying for the 18 million watching right now. <laughs> Great job. I'm very happy. We are the Asia Asian community is very happy that Iran is included in the podium. For vote. Uh, so top one is uh, Armenia for the gold and Iran is the silver medalist Madi Al Fati. Arthur Dabtian, the king of the vault. Even Carlos Julius having a difficult time to beat him. The prob the thing we call should is that let's uh, hear the Ar Armenian national anthem. Kalo is a bold or ang dinis ang ang dragulias ko ni Dabtian. True, true. So brand dinis ang dragulias ko ni Dabtian. Cakas si ano si maganda din yung ano. Maganda din po yung maganda din yung ang tawag dito yung resiguang to ni Iran. Mahi ang so ang tingin ko ah, ah wait lang close to perfect yes bro close to perfect close to perfect yung execution ni Iran sa kanyang resiguang to so the, the man to beat ni Carlos Julio muna is si Iran in the next championship Let's just have talk first before as the, before they're preparing for Iran let's uh, make, make a recap this is the Iran, Iranian, uh, sorry for the buffering, really sorry for that buffering. Magaling pa po kasi sa German yung ano, live stream. Uh, front double, yeah, since your difficulty, indeed, bro. Arthur Dapp, yan, napakalinis ng score, ng ano. Nandyan na si Carlos Yulo, yes, sa parallel bars. Okay, now, yeah, totoo yan, bro. Kinabahan si Miguel. Yeah, kinabahan si Miguel. I hope hindi na siya kakabahan sa Doha. No problem, no worries. Miguel will still compete in Doha and this is a learning process for him. So now, Cardus Yulo, this is Cardus Yulo. <laughs> Nils Dunkel, I think the, the, the man to beat here is Cardus Yulo. He's a top qualifier in parallel bars. Cardus Yulo is a top qualifier. For parallel bars, Esposito from Portugal. Great job. Go Kali for gold. Yeah, go Kali for gold. Pala, after one week, they are going to fly na. Ruby Evans of Great Britain. Oh, sayang. Nag <laughs> Sorry talaga sa ano. All right. Rabe. Japan, magaling din to. Carlos Yulo go. Ayun na naman siya sa takot na naman oh. No? Wala man lang kay smile smile. True, true, true. Totoo yan. Grabe. Perhat Adichan. Iran. Blank yata yun. Indeed. Indeed bro. Tama ka bro. Mas makaya. Wala silang live sa YouTube. Wala po. Wala silang live sa YouTube. Um, kung gusto nyo, uh, wait lang. Isend ko yung ano ha, live stream na link. I will send that. This is the link. I will send this to. to I will send this to my to my community. Uh, okay, community. Ha? I'll go to uh, race or sorry. Punta punta lang ako sa community. Uh, punta kayo sa community. I send ko sa ano. Ah, ito to. Sa I will post in the live live stream. I already posted the link. Yeah. 
Uh, just click the link po para makapunta po kayo sa mismong website. I already posted the link of the website. You can in the chat. Uh, you can click the link of the chat. Yeah, that is the link. Welcome. Just click the link. Then you it will direct you to the live stream of the Dutch TV channel. Pero sayo din yung pag-uusap natin dito. <laughs> It's possible. Let's just... Uh, So, uh, the top qualifier is Carlos Yulo, second qualifier is uh, Nils Tankel, is Georgie, the third, and Fred Hatarijan, the fourth, the fifth is Kazuma Kaya, sixth Belarus, Belgium, Italy, Mateo Ilaventesi, and eighth is Ukraine Covton. Mas may thrill kapag may kasamang nanonood. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Mas masaya pag may nanonood. Sana di siya may pressure, oo. Alam mo yung the, the problem, nakita, nakita nyo kanina, si Carlos si Yudo, nagkaganon siya Parang kinakabahan na naman, hindi siya ka-smile, hindi siya palaban, siya palaban na espirita naman Unlike kay, kay Hashimoto Daiki Yung pagdamalapas nila Hashimoto Daiki Yes! Japan! 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 Ganun sila! Palaban talaga yung espirita na si Carlos Yudo, medyo mababa ba talaga ang fighting spirit niya? I don't know, maybe he needs more motivation I'm just having a feeling na medyo demotivated siya ng kaunti. I hope he will or kinakabahan. I hope pag-play natin si Carlos Yulo na huwag siyang kabahan dito because you know every World Cup counts. Every performance counts. Every execution counts. Baka sobrang focus siya ka kaya hindi siya pa lang iti. Yeah, hindi. Pero uh, kasi kasi bro, yung kasi bro, yung mga expressions niya ngayon, yan yung expressions niya nung sa uh, Tokyo. Yan din yung expressions niya sa World Championship nung pag kinakabahan siya. Pero pag nung mga nananalo siya before 2019, 2021, masiyahin siya. Parang palaban talaga yung ano niya eh. Palaban talaga yung kanyang uh, ano. Pero pag ganyan siya, nakababa ang, pa, uh, ang ulo, medyo mahirap. So the one to beat here is Ferhat Arijan. Yeah, the one to beat. Yeah, next week pero kinakabahan. May basta focus lang. Yes, indeed, focus lang. Laban lang. Comment, comment lang kayo, ha? <laughs> Parang mabos din na itong ano. Ferhat Arijan, the reigning um, bronze medalist in Tokyo Olympics. Pero nung World Championship, pang apat siya. Actually, mas maganda po ang... Arthur Carlos Yulu is having more clean performance in um, paddle bars than our Ferhat Arijan, eh. Maybe because of the height of uh, Ferhat Arijan, is having a wiggle in the parallel bars. Thirty, yes. Let's so hope for Ferhat Arijan that he will perform well. Also, you know, we don't want them to lose, or we don't we don't want them to uh, to fall or have uh, some injury. It's a battle of difficulty. Yes. Actually, not the battle of difficulty, it's a battle of executions. Because no matter what, how difficult you are having, if you executed it poor, then wala din. The same difficulty now, Carlos, I think, 6.5. Yeah. But what matters most is the execution. It should be clean. Whatever difficulty you are having, it should be clean and well executed. Let's watch. Uh, this is Miss uh, Philippe from Portugal. Oh! Okay, great job. Portugal is having a great gymnast too. Wow, great job from Portugal. <laughs> ano, sana bawi is kalis execution for sure gold with duro truyan. Whatever, uh, kasi yung ano, yun na yan yung, kumbaga, the difficulty, they have built up already the uh, difficulty of their executions during the practice, during the, along the, the process, that the difficulty was already built. But the executions will determine during the championship, during the event. You can, you can predict your difficulty during your practice, but the execution will determine during the event. Which is Kaloy sub. Yeah, indeed. Kaloy uh, is very consistent in P-bars. Portugal ladies, very wow. Oh, double pike. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> This comment on below, kumakaya ako maingay, ha? <laughs> Great job from Portugal. 
Yeah, as I've said, what matters, your difficulty, you will build it during your practice. Eh? It will be built your difficulty, but the execution, it will matter during your uh, championship. So, just uh, pray lang talaga na it will be more clean, defined, well polished, and that's it. Ah, next to si Kaloy, Shesha. Yes. Carlos, you know, will perform first. Yeah, please stay on the channel. Carlos, you know, will perform. The first one to perform in parallel bar because he's a top qualifier. That's, that's their arrangement of uh, performers. Uh, so after this floor, it will be parallel bars to be simultaneously. So, Kaloy will be next. Bet ako, kakabahan sana. <laughs> May bayad pala live stream nila. Oh really? No, wala bang bayad yung live stream nila. Walang bayad yung live stream nila. Actually, ano uh, mag, mag ano ka lang. You are just going to have a You are just going to have some mag-register ka lang po. Wala bayad. Yeah, wala bayad 'yon. Mag-register ka lang. Pero it's, it's a long process actually. <laughs> Italy. Ah, uh, his post ito. From Italy, 13.566, Miss Esposito. Carlos Yulo! Woo! Come on, bro! God bless Carlos Yulo. Yes. Carlos, great job, bro. God bless Kaloy. Carlos Yulo from the Philippines. Yes, 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 yes. Hold, hold, hold. Come on, bro. Great job. Great hold. Yeah. A, a clean textbook gymnastics. Really beautiful. There is no adjustment. Well pointed. Greatly executed. Great job. Wow. Clean. Very clean. Wow. Oops. Yes. Great. Great catch. Wow. Indeed. A very clean P bar. Greatly defined. And uh, no one is doing this one. This is a textbook gymnastics. Very well pointed feet. No adjustment of the hands. It's very great. Wow, great catch. Once he catch, he catch it well. Wow. Woo! Clean photo for Carlos Yolo. Oh my God. This is a gold. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, I'm so happy. This is a clear gold for Carlos Yolo for P-Bar. Praise God. Ganda, Clea. This is a podium gold performance. Ferhat Arijan will not be in this kind of. Uh, he's not clean. As this is not. Excuse me. It's not clean as Carlsulo. Great job, Carlsulo. Yes. <laughs> Omg, bro. This is a clean gold. Yes, 15 plus ang magiging score nito dito. Mga 15.1 siguro. 15.3. Maybe 15.3. Very clean executions. Yay, gold top. This is a clean gold, clear gold. Because this uh, the same performance during the World Championship. Clean gold to. Great job, great uh, landing. Great job. This is a, a, a sure gold for Carlos Tulo. Come on. Kinakapal siya, oh. 15.166. Difficulty, 6.5. And execution is 8.66. Rank 1, 15.166 Yes! Woo! Sure ng gold to! <laughs> yes! Sure gold na po tayo sa P-Bar kay Carlos Yulo, 15.166 That same performance during the World Championship for Carlos Yulo Great job Kaloy, salute! Gold for Philippines! Let's watch the uh, performance on the floor I think this is from Israel. She is from Israel. Yes, 
Oh, wow. Yes, mag uh, basahin natin ang mga comments nyo. Um, it will depend on now with with the execution of Ferhat. Yes. Si Ferhat actually malak, parang pareho lang sila ng execution ni Ferhat. Kaya lang yung execution kasi ni Ferhat, pareho lang siya eh. Ay yung difficulty ni Ferhat hindi nagbabago. Uh, malakas din yung or Ukraine yeah. pero pag yung ang problema kasi nila hindi sila ganun ka, kalinis yung execution ng Ukraine tsaka ni Ferhat kung kasi king ling isang uh, execution si Ferhat tsaka si Ukraine magamatter yung mga score nila uh, bago ang routine niya ngayon pwede niya kalabanin ang China sa world champion yeah pwede pero mahirap kalabanin si China eh 16.1 ang difficulty ang score niya eh mataas yung difficulty ng China galing talaga niya sa P-Bars yung China lang talaga ang malaking hadlang na sa gold. Oh, knowing uh, for your information po mga kapatid, China is 29 years old. Um, ni, uh, the one also from Germany is the Germany one is ano siya? 6.9 and this score siya. Yeah, 6.9 difficulty score ni China, sabi ni Brenda. And si ano pa yung Germany 15.5 yung last or 15.6 yung last score niya si Lucas Dowser medyo may iba yung mga difficulty nila eh kasi si Lucas Dowser is 28 years 28 years old China is 29 years old it takes years for someone to build that kind of uh, difficulty uh, you know all of those skills in the parallel bars it takes years for it to for it to be developed, you know, to, to master those skills. And Carl Schul is just 22 years old. It will really take years. Maybe if China will resign and Lucas Dowsa will resign, that's the time that Carl Schul will be in gold. Or if Carl Schul will be, you know, will fast track his, uh, you know, his, will fast track his uh, skills to improve more on parallel bars, he can be. Yeah, kumbaga, seven yung papers sa China, parang, Simon Biles sa gymnastics, yes, siya ang tutoring na king of papers, yes, parang Simon Biles si China, kasi 29 years old na si China eh, imagine mo, the gap is uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 7 years gap ng pagka-practice, medyo mahirap yung hagbuhulin yung 7 years ng isang 22 years old, unless kung mag-focus lang talaga si Carlos Hill sa P-bar, the rest of his career, and forget the all around, sa floor okay lang yan, mag-focus lang sa floor siguro, mag-focus lang sa both, tsaka sa P-bar, doon na lang eh, tsaka kung anong gusto ng bata, kasi ang hirap kung mag all around ka pa, mag specialized apparatus ka, medyo mahirap mag-gold sa specialized apparatus kung ikaw ay nag-all around, medyo ano yun, uh, o nga eh, sunod ang gold sa world, yeah, mahirap yung ano, mahirap siyang gawin, ito na sa, si Niels Dunkel na, <laughs> masyado ako, sorry, sorry, come on, from Germany, it's not that clear, you can see the feet of Germany is wiggling, the second top qualifier is Germany, may pag-asikal eh, May wiggling sila, ayun no? Not clean, see? Oh, again. It's wiggling. Great job, Niels. He has a great execution, but not as clean as Carlos Fuel have. Great job, Niels. Let's watch the slow motion of Niels Dunkel. Great job. Second top C si Ukraine ata. Yeah, I, no, a second uh, third C si Ukraine eh. So, kasi kanina kasi nakalista yung ano nila. They will perform according to their according to their uh, ranking. See, hindi 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 perfect o oh. umano siya, hindi perfect yung line ng handstand niya. Uh, there's a little bit of wiggling, significant wiggling with Germany. Great dismount. Fourteen point two three three score. Yeah, Niels Dunkel with fourteen point two three three score. Execution is eight point five three three. Difficulty is five point one or five point seven. It's not clear if, yeah, difficulty is 5.7, it's, yeah, she's uh, currently in rank 2. 
Tapos ng A-score. Yeah, execution score. Mm-mm. Pasahin natin yung ano nyo. Mahaba, ma, mababa lang ang D-score. O, oh, mababa ang D-score ni, ano, ni Niels Dunkel. Second top sa si Ukraine. Great job, Life of Pyrus. <laughs> Pero walang ang, ang floor nito? Isang bansa to? I think she's from uh, Italy yata to, or Great Britain. Sukahara, great job for Sukahara. Ay, was... No, this is from Spain. Uh, she is from Spain, representing Spain, right? Nice, great job. This is great job. Wow, it's great landing. Stick to the floor. Pero kulang siya sa smile eh. Kailangan kasi may beauty kasi ang floor ng mga babae eh. Sayaw niya. Kailangan, wait lang, kailangan ko magsalita ng malakas dito kasi yung tugtog is uh, malakas yung tugtog. May, medyo mahir, maganda. Great job, Spain. That's great job. Wow! Ouch! Oh my God, that's very painful, no? It's painful for the legs. It will be a whole point deduction. OMG. Let's, let, let's read for a while. You are alone. Mababa lang di score. Great job. Shout out kay Horace Vincent Cruz, Brenda Espinosa, and The Life of Pi. Uh, wow. Sobrang kabado sa dito ko. <laughs> Shout out. <yung> ngayon. <laughs> Grabe. Wag po kayong mag-comment ng mga sa mga word ng mga ano ha. Uh, Banalikan ko performance ni Kaloy. There no snow in hindi mag-gold. Yeah, indeed. Mag-gold si Kaloy, uh, Brands. Kaloy will be in gold. Sure gold yun. Kasi napakalinis ng executions niya. Walang, basta walang wiggling, walang hesitations, walang bending ng mga arms. Talaga, great job. And kita nyo sa mukha ni Kaloy na ano siya, na si Kaloy is Masaya siya after. Ganun siya. Alam ng gymnast kapag ang the gymnast knows if he performs well or if he underperforms because you will see naman kikali pag alam niyang he did well, he will have a great smile. <laughs> China is not here and Lucas Dawson is not here. Surely she will be a gold and good uh, execution score. Let's see the score of um Laura from Espanya, rank third, 12.166 from Spain. Great job. There's the execution. Yeah. Ayos, ayos. From Cyprus, uh, let's watch the Ilias Georgi from Cyprus. Is the reigning Commonwealth champion in parallel bars, I think. I don't know. No, he's not the reigning Commonwealth champion in parallel bars. Oh, hesitations and wiggling. That will be a deduction of points. All right. Great job. Wow. See, it's not clean. You should clean it more. Practice more. Oh, hesitations again. And that will be a deduction of points. What kind of should do is not doing that kind of hesitations. No wiggling. Is because it's going to be hard for them. They're having a good height. That's why they're, uh, there's a struggle with the gravity. It's a great job. Yeah, it's good. No adjustment of the hands, but there is a wiggling in hesitations. That must be a significant point. Oh! So, that must be painful. Yes, Georgie. OMG. It's fine, it's fine. It's great to see. I hope to see Cyprus on again on the finals in World Championship. But there is a we, he must he must need to oh that's under rotation. That must be very painful, huh? 
It's painful. I hope he will not have a... I hope he will not have a injury because of that landing. And that must be a deduction of points. Maybe this will be a 13 point something scores. May wag tayo. Sana sa upcoming years may wag tayo. Oo nga. Actually, we have a... Um, Fenigan, Alia Fenigan, but uh, if, uh, my favorite part was, uh, is BB. <laughs> What's BB? What's BB? What what is BB? Ano ano po yung BB? Hindi <laughs> ko ano. Sorry, medyo ignorant ako sa BB sa acronyms. Si Alia Fenigan, ano siya? Ah, balance beam. Yeah, balance beam. Yeah, Alia Fenigan um especially sa practice is balance beam and also vault. Pero kailangan niya pa ng 2 years po na residency. Ah, uh, indeed. Balance beam. So, kailangan pa ni Alaya Fenigan ng 2 years residency sa, P sa regional competitions bago siya mag-represent ng Philippines sa world stage. Kasi kakatransfer niya pa lang sa Philippine team from American team. Yeah, God willing Alaya Fenigan after 2 years. Uh, on 2024, um, uh, Isa, you load, uh, wait, after this we are going to chat. Let's wait for the score of Cyprus. Medyo matagal lang ano score ng ni Cyprus. Um but anyways, okay next time. Yeah, uh, Isa Yulo. Isa Yulo po. Ah uh, wait, padalo na natin ng ano. <laughs> Isa Yulo, the sister of Carlos Yulo. She whenever she will be on senior, I think 16 years old uh, or 17 years old will be considered a senior na. Kailangan ang um, pinensyang lumaban sa world stage na as a senior. I don't know what's the age of uh, Isa Yulo now. Isa Yulo is also promising for gymnastics senior. Medyo matagal ang score nila. Si Isa Yulo po, ano siya, um, lahat ng aparatos na gold niya nung si, si Wag, si, si something, si... Southeast Asian sa age group championship sa Thailand ginanap. So ginold yun lahat ni Isa Yulo. So um tagal lang score ya, yeah. matagal yung score eh ni Cyprus. Ina is Georgie is 12.833. The score is 12.833. Difficulty is 5.6. Execution 7.233. Because there's a lot of ano deduction eh during the landing one whole point yun. Tapos mga wiggling pa. Uh, Papi Grace Tickler from Great Britain, magaling din to. Pero mas magaling pa rin si Jessica Garidova. Medyo kailangan ko magsilita dito ha. Kasi ano eh, may music yung ano. Patayin ko yung music kasi baka makapirate tayo. Yan. Let's just watch it because uh, may music kasi siya. It's very careful na hindi tayo makapirate ng YouTube sa mga music. Matindi kasi ang copyright. Yeah, this is great job for um, Great Britain. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Medyo malandi si Great Britain mo sumayaw. Ah. Ayos. Wow, that's great job. Masigla siya. Nalaban dahil sa music ha, ha. nabagay ako mag-live sa TikTok. Nag-try ako mag-live, nabaan dahil sa music. Oo, oh, oh. nabaan ka sa TikTok dahil sa music mo. Dapat ano, say, uh, uh, pay, gagawa ka ka sa sarili mong music. <laughs> wow, double pay. Ouch! Oh my God! That would be one whole point deduction. Sakit nun ha, yung pagbagsak niya. Dapat hindi siya pabagsak na ganun. Great job! Basta tayo ng mga comments nyo. Uh, Nag-try ako mag-live. Yes, tagal ng score. Uh, yes, that's true bro. True, true pie. Dapat careful tayo sa mga music na ginagamit natin sa, sa ating mga ano, sa ating mga social media. Or si either gumawa ka ng sarili mong music. Straight job. 
Pasayin naman ng piso dyan, no? <laughs> okay lang. A point deduction dahil sa nagland sa kamay. Yeah, one whole point deduction yun. Ayan, sa kamay. Sayang, ang galing niya sana, oh. Ganda pa naman niya. Ganyan talaga ang gymnastic. Actually, we cannot predict gymnastic. Hindi mo pwede sabihin na, ay, magaling siya, siya mag-gold. Sure gold siya, sure gold. Wala, walang sure sa gymnastic kasi lahat sila magagaling. Nag-matter na lang talaga sa execution and sa mental preparedness during the championship. Kahit anong galing mo sa, nila sa gym, pero pagdating sa laban is nag-matter yung ano, mental toughness nila. Doon sila nasatalo eh. Because uh, you know the, the the difficulty you already got it during your your training eh but your execution if you are not mentally tough sa laban matakot ka sa mga kalaban mo ma talaga mahirap ka talaga mag-podium kahit anong galing sa gym during the practice Diyan natin to ah okay Feeling ko mga ano, 11 lang to. Sayang. 12.5. Papi Grace Tickler. Difficulty, 5.5. Execution, 7.2. 12.5 total score from Great Britain. Ferhat Arijan, the reigning bronze medalist of Olympics for parallel bars. Pero nawala na sa, sa words. World Champion. Pero marami siyang ano, World Cup na uh, gold sa, sa parallel bars. Tumula pa si Yulo. Matinding kalaban ni Yulo, si Fer Hatarijan. Dapat hindi siya magigwigling. Ayos. Great job. Great hold. Ups. Wiggling. Okay. Nag-hesitate siya. That will be a deduction to the, your execution score. Ay! Aray! Diyos ko mo! Delikado! Oh my God! Muntik na yun! Muntik na yun ha! Takot ako dun! OMG! Hindi, wala na! Wala nang podium si Fer! Ay! There will be a separation, separation of the legs! Wala na! Fer na tali dyan! Why did you do it? Oh, I feel so paining. It's painful to see Fer na tali dyan doing this one. Ay, grabe. Delikado. Demotivated na siya, oh. Galingan mo. Great job. Great dismount. Sayang. Sayang, pero hatari dyan. Idol ko to, eh. He's one of my favorite. But because of that, uh, you know, magkamali siya, eh. Sayang. Dito, yan, maganda siya. Oh, muntik na dun, no? Muntik na mahulog siya, oh. Diyos ko. Sure go na po tayo sa, ano, sa, sa parallel bars after the execution of Carlos Yulo. Sure gold na. Ito, baka hindi ito mag-podium si Ferhat Ari dyan. Sayang. Dami pa naman yang madami na po siyang sponsor. Well, if you know someone that who having uh, good money and good company, you can ask them to sponsor Carlos Yulo and Miguel Bisanya, some of our Philippine team. They really need support po. 14.5. Dipoti 6.5. Execution 8.0. Grabe, sayang. Turkey, yeah. He has a sign of that block because uh, nag, uh, nagadalamhati ang Turkey ngayon. Rank 2, 14.5 pa rin siya. Pero mababa yung ano niya, execution. 6.5 difficulty, pero mababa ang execution score. Now they are, oh my god, for Ferhat Ari, just have some quick chat. Consistency is the key, yeah. Hindi na, actually, si Ferhat Ari, dyan, hindi na siya naging consistent. If this will continue, the yung performance ni Ferhat Ari, dyan, hanggang Olympics, Carlos Yulo has a great chance to be in bronze. Uh, in Olympics because as long as China is there and Lucas Dowser is there, Carlos Yulo will as long as the, the two, the Lucas Dowser and the Chinese one is there and consistent of their uh, execution, Carlos Yulo will always be on the bronze 
And basta, pero ang maganda doon, si Fresh Hot Ali dyan, pero hindi naman siya maganda. Nauunga sa akin si Car- mas maganda kasi si, si, mas malinis si Carlos Yulo. Carlos Yulo has a more clean routines than Fresh Hot Ali dyan. And because of that, Fresh Hot um, routines, um, Carlos Yulo is uh, having a high chance to be in bronze medal in Olympics in Paris 2024. And pansin ko lang ha, sa parallel bar kasi, parang mas madali, mas safe ba siya yung mga gaw- gawin niya kaya sa vault na masyadong mahirap at delikado yung mga gawain, no? Pwede ba si Lebert kasi, if I'm not mistaken, so, uh, pwede rin, pero sa execution kasi, medyo mahirap kasi yung, kung i-review nyo yung ano, yung mga performance ni Fe, ni Lucas Dowser ng European Championship at nung sa ano sa World Championship consistent po siya sa talaga sa ginagawa niya pero may problema si per si Lucas Dowser sa consistency kasi nung yung European Championship nagano siya nag nasisimple lang siya pero consistent siya sa 15.5 scores niya eh last European Championship tsaka sa World Championship pareho lang yung score niya so pero nagbago ang score every 4 years pero i mean to say the way it is being a uh, score sa mga executions niya consistent siya so si Carlos Yulo consistent siya sa 15.1 or 15.3 score sa ano sa sa parallel bars so yun nga si Lucas daw siya kasi he is 28 years old na The difference of the experience is 6 years. So, 22 years old minus 20, divide, compared with the 28 years old. So, at alam mo yung, it, it, nga, it takes years para to develop and perfect the, uh, a difficulty or or a skill sa, pa, sa gymnastic. It takes years to perfect to perfect it. Tignan mo yung reseguang to ni Carlos Yudo. Hindi niya talaga pa ma-perfect perfect yun kasi uh, last year niya pa nang ginawa yung reseguang to, yung upgrade ng vault niya. Kaya yun. Pero okay lang na hindi naman nag-podium si Carlos Yulo sa Bolt kasi talagang pinapractice siya talaga yung Resegwang 2. Kahit hindi man alam, basta ma-practice niya yun sa isang world competition. It's fine. So, we will go back na for great waiting for the floor. Ah, uh, no, this is practicing. He's this uh, Ian Covton. He is also good in uh, parallel bars. But if you are going to have a separate, a valgo, he had separation of the legs. Oh, okay. I hope he will be consistent. Yeah. Anyways, whatever score they're having, of course they were they will be having a difficult a different differential difference of scores. But I mean to say the performance, kahit iba iba pang score nyan. Pero kung pareho din kayo ng mga executions nyo, kung si skills sa executions mo, yung pareho magiging ano mo eh placement. Pareho na nito. Medyo kailangan ko magsalita naman sa floor. <laughs> kasi sa floor kasi ang hirap. May mga music kasi sa ginagamit. Mga copyright tayo dito sa music na to. So kailangan ko magsalita na magsalita. Usap lang tayo ng usap. Comment lang kayo ng comment para ano, makapag-reply ako. Kaya halos lahat ng sinasalihan niya pasok sa finals. Travis si Kasuma kaya. Yes! Kasi Kasuma kaya consistent siya eh. Kahit hindi ba siya mag-podium para basta makapasok sa finals, masaya siya pa. Masaya siya pa na orin talaga si Kasuma Kaya. You know, he is very consistent. Whatever score ang nagbabago man ang mga score, magbago sabay-sabay sila magbabago ng score nila eh. Pero yung performance nila, kung consistent sila sa execution sila, maging consistent din sila sa mga ranking nila. Pero sa vault, matas ang uh, potential ni Carlos Yulo na mag uh, mag-champion siya sa vault. Because, uh, ano kasi, um, yun, finals two. Oh, great job. Kasi pwede niyang maungasan si, si Arthur Dapp yan eh. But as long as na ma- maging madingis na talaga yung vault ni Carlos Yulo. It will matter sa executions nila eh. I need to turn this off. Great job! Ayos, ayos. Basta tayo ng, ano, let's just uh, read some of your comments. Um, grabe si, ano, uh, sabi dito. Uh, grabe si Kasuma Kaya, halos lahat, mababa, sabi Brenda. Yeah, si Nidin did. did. <laughs> Especially slow motion.
Yes, yes, uh, Christopher. Hi, Christopher. Yes, uh, Piper Pina si Carlos Yulo. Piper Pina lang po si Carlos Yulo, Cos Christopher. Sa Piper Pina lang po siya. Great retain. 13.466 score. 13.466 rank 2 siya. Execution 8.066. It will be 5.40. Ruby Evans. Kazuma Kaya, let's welcome Kazuma Kaya from Japan. The legend Kazuma Kaya for parallel bars. Magaling din to eh. Welcome, welcome, bro, Christopher. Sure, gold si Carlos Silo sa pi bar. Great job. Oh, clean. Well pointed. Well pointed ang mga feet niya. Great job. Clean. Great job. I think Kasumukaya will be... Oh, there's a little bit of wiggling. Yeah, no, no. A little bit of wiggling. Mind you say, it will be deduction or execution. Sure goal na si Carlos Yulo. Great job! Wait, I will read your championship this year. Ah, later I will read that one. After this one. Great job, Kasuma. There's just a little bit of hesitation from Kasuma Kaya that it will be a deduction for his execution. Great dismount, but the chest is lower during the dismount. Great job, Kasuma Kaya. Great job, long live Kasuma. I think since 2013, kasu or 2000, yeah, 2012 atau 2013, kasu makaya is already competing in the world stage. Let's watch the slow motion of kasu makaya. There's a little bit of hesitation in his. Oh, that's what that is a adjustment, a significant adjustment, and it will be deducted the 1.0, 0.1 score. Every hand adjustment. Great job, Kasuma Kaya. Let's wait for the score of Kasuma Kaya. Rank two, fourteen point seven. Rank 1 is still Carlos Yulo. Execution 8.4, difficulty 6.3. 6.3 difficult score for difficulty for Kasuma Kaya. Let's watch, uh, let's, uh, let's have some. 14.7 uh, for Kasuma Kaya. Podium finals to siguro. Yes. Podium finish si Kasuma Kaya. He is a uh, silver pl uh, second place currently. Having Christopher Carlos will still join the FIG World Championship this year. Yes, of course, Christopher uh, Rigidor. Carlos Yulo will still um, compete for the um, World Championship for this year. As long as Carlos Yulo will, will, uh, will, if Carlos Yulo will be consistent, God willing, in his performances in this World Cup. If Carlos Yulo will, you know, uh, will be consistent in this World Cup and he will always be in podium in this four World Cup, oh, that will be a total deduction of point one, uh, point 0.5. If Carlos Yulo will be clean and consistent in this World Cup in podium, then he surely he will be in World Championship. The Asian Championship and Sea Games will just be a competition for him. God willing, he will be consistent with his P bar in top eight. Great job. So this fig apparatus World Cup, you need to gather points in the four World Cup. If you will be consistent in top eight, then you are those top eight will be automatic qualified in World Championship. Oh, that's deduction point. Great job. I will have to remove the music. 
<laughs> because it's hard, baby. YouTube will copyright me. Great job. Great job for that. Oh, there's some music. Let's see his uh, watch her score. I'm excited for the podium medal presentation later. <laughs> Yay! Let's watch some of your comments here. Yeah, 14.7. Podium finished. Yeah, podium finished. See, si, sabi ni Brenda Espinosa. Um, uh, shout out to Brenda Espinosa. Sabi niya, yeah, podium finish on si Kasumakaya. Currently, he is uh, second on the lead. Pero not Arijan, there's a lot of hesitation. He will, he will not be in the podium. I'm sure he will not be in the podium. Yeah, and uh, this FIG World Cup, if you will be consistent with the FIG World Cup, four World Cup on, in top eight, then you will be, uh, you will have a um, sure ball, sure spot for World Championship. So, they, again, after this uh, cut boost, they will, six days after this cut boost, is a World Cup in Doha. So, rank three is uh, Alice Dimato, 13.133, difficulty 5.2, execution 8.33. Uh, this is a uh, he's good also from Belgium, Glenn Kyle. Let's watch the performance of Glenn Kyle. I think, uh, yeah, uh, a debutant in the world stage. That's great, awesome. Oh, there's a the hesitation, deduction, or execution. Not well in their handstand. Uh, adjustment in the hands present there. Ah, hes hesitations. That was a great deduction. Oh. Sayang, sayang, sayang. Galing sana. Oh, the adjustment again in the hands. Point one. Again, adjustment in the hand. Negative point one. Oh, great job. Oh, <laughs> OMG, I hope he will uh, practice more for Belgium. I hope he will practice more so that he can he can be in podium next time. The, this Belgium man, let's watch the, the, the slow motion of his performance. Sayang, malakas siya niya siya, oh. Kinaban siguro to. Magaling siya eh. Sa uh, parallel bars, kailangan mo talagang execute na malinis eh. What happened? Okay. Okay. Great job, great job. Ayun no, there's a, a significant adjustment in the hands. From Belgium. Oh, that's uh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Is he happy to present that kind of execution? Thank you, Belgium. They are a little bit disappointed of that uh, performance. Needs more practice to master the executions. Glenn Coyle of is currently rank 5 with 13.366. Difficulty 5.6 and execution is 7.766. Oh, Italy. Tisha Volman. Ah, no, sorry, from Netherlands. Tisha Volman. Let's watch her execution. Oh, there's some music. I have to remove it. Sorry for removing it. Because, you know, YouTube, this is a copyright issue if you will have some music using, using music of the third party. Oops, great job, great landing, stick to the floor. Ah yes, it's great. Beautifully made, it's divine. It's great, it's great, it's great. 
Shout out to the 30 million fa watching now. From Netherlands. Oh, they look like she looks like an Italian. But the energy is a little bit low. You must be very fast, you know, to to move to execute more difficulty. Oh, stepping out of the line that will be point three deductions or no zero point one only deductions. So the current deductions. Great job. That's great. Mm, great job. Sino po ang goals of lore, men? Ah, um, Sir Christopher Rigador, the gold in floor, men, is uh, Artem Dolgopiat of Israel. He is the gold. He is the one to beat. He is the king of the floor. Artem Dolgopiat is uh, currently the king of the floor. He is the reigning gold in Olympics. And also in the fig. Yeah, Artem Dolgopiat. And also the in World Cup Series, he is uh, gold. He, he is very consistent in the World Cup Series, but during the World Championship, maybe he's not in the mood. That's why he did not qualify for the finals. Yes, Arten Dolgopiat, the king of the floor. The second, Carlos Yulo, can Carlos be considered the king of the floor? Yes, for Asian and C, C Games, he's the king of the floor, but for the world, he is having a problem for his consistency. Yes, we, because they are, uh, yeah. Carlos Yulo is having a consistency problem in the floor in the for the executions, no? During the floor finals is not being he has a problem for consistency for some mistakes. He's consistent actually he's consistent with the mistakes in floor now. I hope it will be addressed. Maybe this World Cup, you know, World Cup series would be very helpful for Carlos Yulo to build more of his confidence, to be exposed more with his peers, with his international peers. And let's talk for a while. And uh, um, this World Cup series is very helpful for Carlos Yulo and Miguel to build up more of their confidence, because to build up more of their mental toughness, mental preparedness. And for every gymnast, World Cup Series is very helpful for them to be confident, to build more of their confidence. So, just go on with it, you know. 12.80 uh, for Netherlands, the total score, rank 5. 7.9 execution, difficulty is only 5.0. He needs to practice more. Matteo Livantesi from Italy. Yeah. He's new in the world stage for senior. He was uh, he debuted his world championship this year, 2022, a debutant of war in the senior and during the world championship. He's good also, this Matteo Divantesi. Oops, oh, that's not good, not perfect. Oh, there's a wiggling, a little bit of a wiggling of the feet, of the legs during the handstand. He's difficult. He's trying to get some more good difficulty, but the execution is not clean. Oh, sh that's a uh, hesitation. He still uh, needs more time to clean the executions, but he's having a good difficulty here. Great job, Matteo Levantesi. <laughs> so the one to beat is Matteo Levantesi, no? <laughs> the one to beat in parallel bars is Matteo Levantesi. Let us wait for the score of Matteo Levantesi. Medyo naga, naga buffer na naman siya. Uh, the internet is buffering because we are watching live from Dutch TV. Let's watch the is the motion of Matteo Levantesi. There's a lot of hesitations here. Eh. See? Wiggling of the feet because sometimes matataas kasi sila eh. Naapektado ng gravity yung kanilang ano. Uh, sorry, sorry. Great job. But it's not clean, see? There's a little bit of wiggling of the feet. And that will deduct of your deductions for your executions. Great. This month for double pike.
Mateo Levantesi, 15.266. Huh? Rank 1! Sabi na eh. Rank 1 si Mateo Levantesi because the difficulty is high, 6.5. Silver medal for Carlos Yulo for parallel bars because the difficulty is much higher for Mateo Levantesi. Uh, ka currently, ka Carlos, Carlos Yulo is on uh, a sing napaka gana ng, ng back ng Angel. Um, um, Mateo Carlos Yulo is silver currently for parallel bars. Mateo Levantesi is gold currently because uh, Levantesi has a more high difficulty in parallel bars compared with Carlos Yulo. But the good thing is that a uh, sure podium for Carlos Yulo. That's a great news. Great job. Malakas po talaga kasi si Mateo Levantesi eh. Malakas ang mga Italian. Great job. Oh, the music, medyo malakas siya. Ano, ano ba din ni Yulo? I thought it's win five, but the... Uh, Depende kasi you can go back with the with their difficulty and execution score. Mas mahirap mas mahirap po kasi yung mga difficulty ni ano ni Mateo Levantesi. Mas marami po siyang ginagawa. It's great job. I think this the uh, Japanese is the this is the final, yeah Japan th th this lady is the top qualifier for for floor but sure podium for Carlos Yulo for silver medal that's a great job you know gymnastics really is a war a real world and Matteo Levantesi is a new in he is new in a world stage a great rival for Carlos Yulo for the parallel bars. Carlos Yulo needs more to add for his difficulty and executions to upgrade more, but it's fine that you are in the podium for civil silver medal. That's great. It's fine that uh, Carlos Yulo will be in silver. Great job for silver podium, finishing in podium. Mateo Levantesi, kung titinan nyo lang, mahirap lang yung ginagawa niya. Marami siyang, kung, kung medyo layman na sa term, ano, tinan yung mga executions niya, marami siyang ginawa. Kasi kay Carlos Yulo. Ganun. Great job. But the great job. But the good news is. Good news is. Uh, silver for Carlos Yulo. And he's currently on full podium. So may bagong kakalabanin si Kaloy sa parallel bar. Si Mateo Levantesti. I don't know the difficulty score of Carlos Yulo. I'm not aware. Uh, I'm not aware of that. You must be joking that Carlos Yulo is uh, king of the floor. No, I'm not. He is not the king of the floor because he has nowhere near many European gymnasts. Do you think to beat the Japanese? Actually, um, Black Angel. Black Angel. Um, for the, the if you will see the all, during the all around and in the whole world championship, Carlos Yulo is the only one that has a 15.1 score during the floor. In the, but he got this 15.1 score during the all around, and he is the highest one, the only one to have that kind of score in the floor during the all around. And in compared for during the finals, to all people who got the floor, um, Carlos Yulo is the one only who got that kind of high score. So if Carlos Yulo will just be very, um, um, you know, very consistent with his floor, he can be he can beat uh, Artin Golgopiat. Yeah, I, um, I will. You can check my channel. Uh, here, Ian Cofton.
Oh. That's a diff adjustment will be a deduction in your execution score. Oh my god, it's buffering again. <laughs> sorry, it's buffering. I'm very sorry that it's buffering again the the live. Let's watch yeah. Let's watch the slow motion of Ian Cobton from Ukraine. Great execution for Ukraine, but there's a bit, a little bit of some hesitations during the his uh, performance. The feet is sometimes wiggling, and uh, some adjustments of the hands were present there. Let's watch for the wait for the score of Ijakovton. Fifteen point three six six. Oh. He is rank 1. Carlos Yulo will be bronze. Carlos Yulo is now on 3rd place. The difficulty is 6.6. .6. He got 6.6 .6 difficulty. Currently, the leader for parallel bars is... The gold medalist for parallel bar is uh, Ilian Kofton. The silver medalist is um, Le Mateo Levantesi. And the gold uh, bronze is Carlos Yulo. Let us watch the this one, the performance of Rhythmic Gymnastics, Rhythmic Gymnast of Germany. I think this has a uh, music. I have to reduce the music. Still, it's good that uh, still finishing on podium. Iliad Compton is really great in uh, in parallel bars. So we have Matteo Levantesi and Iliad Compton to beat in parallel bars. Maybe to increase more of Carlos Yulo's difficulty. Yeah, he will. Carlos Yulo will be back on the floor. He will be the king of the floor again. He will beat. Uh, actually, not to beat. Let us not use the word to beat uh, Artem Dolgopiat. Carlos Yulo will beat himself <laughs> because all, most of the time Carlos Yulo is having a uh, trouble in his you know mental toughness, mental preparedness, this nervousness, this chill. You know, he have to beat himself. To believe more on himself in the floor and to execute well of his performances in floor because his difficulties in floors deserves a great score he has a great score in floor but during the floor finals he never uh, he didn't he has falls and some mistakes but during the all around 15.1 score na no one in the world championship during the world championship world championship has that kind of 15.1 score in the floor but great job great news Carlos Yulo will be is a uh, bronze in parallel bar that's great job for the Filipino people Carlos Yulo is a uh, bronze in parallel bar So, uh, do some of you like uh, this one also, Rhythmic Gymnastics? <laughs> Great job! So, that, that, yeah, that's it. The four parallel bar finals is, fi is fi finished and they are going to have, uh, you know, they are going to have the um, podium, the awarding ceremony. Carlos Yulo is uh, bronze in parallel bars. Silver medalist is <laughs> what is that again? <laughs> Matteo Levantesi of Italy and the gold medalist is uh, Ilian Kovton of Ukraine. Ilian Kovton is a 
long time no he's having a lot of um lot of history being podium in parallel bars and i believe ian cofton is a uh, is he in the during some world championship he is on the podium in parallel bars great news for the philippines carlos Hulu is in podium in parallel bars i think carlos Hulu, as he said he will have to increase more of his difficulties in parallel bars a great job for philippines to have a bronze in podium in the world stage you know to have a podium in world stage. a lot of uh the best gymnasts in the world we have a lot of the best gymnasts in the world okay for i think we have now a second uh, okay jill sec i think this is a performance this is just a performance a gala performance in parallel bars Great job. Oh, it's, it's, it's buffering again. Okay. Great job. <laughs> Adidas. No, they have a sponsor, which is who is Adidas. Yes, YouTube boy. You know, my guys, look at my dog. See this dog. This dog's doing. <laughs> Now we're going to have the awarding ceremony. That's a gala performance a while ago in Parallel Bar. Great job! Carlos Yulo is a bronze in the Parallel Bars and that's a great news for Philippines to finish in podium. Sobrang sayang. Yeah, sobrang sayang nga yung ano, yung uh, pie, true pie, yung ano, yung kanyang execution, nagkamali siya sa nung World Championship. God willing, Carlos Yudo will be back on the floor, no? Bilog ang mundo sa gymnastic, eh. You cannot predict na he will always be in the podium. Even Artem Dolgopiato was having a problem during the World Championship, but look at now, he's back on track on the floor. Manila is Posito of Italy, the silver medalist. <laughs> yeah, sure. He got in the wrong podium. She's the gold. Oh, they have an issue in the in the results. The gold is Japan in the floor, of course. What time is it now? 7.37 Congratulations Japan for gold medal in the floor exercise 
during the floor final in the FIGA Protest World Cup Cat Boost. Congratulations for your uh, gold medal. For the blister. Ano mid ka? Great job, Japan. Okay, now will be a full zoom. Please wait for the. Because we are now going to have a ceremony for the parallel bars. And Carlos Silo is the bronze in parallel bars and silver for for Italy. Matteo Levante is in gold for um, Ian Covton in parallel bars. Of course, bilug ang mundo sa alam sa gymnastics. Eh. You cannot really predict that he will be the gold because there's a lot of strong gymnasts in the world. There's a lot of Carlos Silo is not the only one who is strong in the world. There's a lot of strong gymnasts in the world. It only matters how they execute their difficulty during that championship. Great job. So great news for the Philippines. So we have now a new one from uh, Italy, Matteo Levantesi. Great job. Congratulations, Philippines. Let us be happy for Carlos Yulo for the bronze and T-Bar. The only challenge for Matteo Levantesi is to be consistent in his performance. Congratulations, Yulo. Great job! Mateo Levantesi, yan! Congratulations Mateo Levantesi! You know the, the only, the only um, challenge for Mateo Levantesi is to be consistent more on his performances. Ilian Covton, the gold medalist now for the parallel bars. 15.3 the plus this his score lumaki na si ano si Ukraine dati bata pa lang to eh great job congrats Carlos Chulo There, there are two people to beat in uh, parallel bars. Ilian Covton and Mateo Levantesi. Ilian Covton is having problem, you know, with uh, with consistency also in parallel bars. And also Mateo Levantesi. Great job, Ian Covton of Ukraine. Great job, Ukraine. Great job, Ukraine. <laughs> Congrats, Carlos Yulo and Ukraine. Oh, there's... Alright. This is the... These are the slow motions. And some... Okay. Great job.
This is all watching now. The okay. Let us just have some talk. Okay, the for the ranking, the current ranking is a uh, top one is Ilya Kovtsov from Ukraine with 15.366, Mateo Levantesi 15.266, so Carlos Yulu uh, bronze 15.166, Japan Katsumakaya 14.7. Wow, this is a great score. Let's have some uh, talk. Oh. Ian Cofton will be on finals also for high bars. Ang kasuma kaya for high bars. Now let us welcome the men's high bar finals from Netherlands. Philippe from France. He's from France. Sorry for the buffering of the live. From Japan, from Belgium, Elian Kovtun from Ukraine, Martini from Italy, from Italy, the top performer. Okay. Uh, this will be a, this will gonna be a good uh, championship. Oh, <laughs> so Azuki Kovukata to perform first. Manila Esposito uh, ranking the floor. This is a uh, Great Britain. Ruby Evans a third place. Italy was a fourth place. Alice Di Macho. Germany was in the fifth place and sixth place for Netherlands. Tricia, great. All right, there's uh, the floor. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, let's talk about the results. You know, the only challenge again, as I have said before about ago, the only challenge for for the challenge for Italy, Matteo Levantesi, is to be consistent of his performances. And also for Ilian Cofton to be consistent on his performances. The advantage of uh, Carlos Yulu in parallel bars is his being consistent in podium with consistent with his performances, although he has some difficulty in parallel bars during the Old Japan Championship last December. But uh, otherwise, he's being consistent with his performances during the Sea Games, the Asian Championship, the World Championship. He's very consistent with um, with some major championship. He's very consistent with his performance, and that's a very uh, advantage for him on to be on the podium. Now, Matteo Levantesi and Ian Cofton, they're having having some problems of consistency. They have some issues for consistency for uh, parallel bars and. But I hope also that Carlos Silo will upgrade more of his skills, as he said during his interview in the, um, we call this one, the British Gymnastics, that he is going to upgrade more his um, level in parallel bars, level of difficulties in execution in parallel bars, to secure a spot of in podium in the uh, Olympics and World Championship in parallel bars. Because there are a lot of strong gymnasts in parallel bars right in the in the world so a lot of strong gymnasts and you can secure that you are uh, that you will be in the podium because you are great no there's a lot of strong gymnasts and what will matter is the execution what but what but if the gymnast has a very uh, he's um consistent in performing his uh, difficulty values and some difficult executions difficult routines then it's advantage for him to be to secure a, a program or a medal in the podium well nothing is sure in this world really nothing is sure in this world so it's fine let's just go on and now there are the gymnasts are having some um warm up for the high bars the people that we are go, going to watch here is the, the qualifiers from uh, um italy and Kasumakaya also and Ilya Colton also the all-arounder, a consistent all-arounder. Uh, but uh, by the way, Ian Colton is uh, the 2021 bronze medalist in all-around. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, he's a bronze medalist in all-around during the 2021 World Championship. Let us watch now the live stream. Oh, 
letzten Sekunden hat er noch Zeit. Das wird er wahrscheinlich, das soll ich jetzt nicht schaffen, die jetzt ist wahrscheinlich noch ein Penalty geben dafür. Was ist daran schuld, dass man so einen Angriff gebraucht hat, den Sportler ranzuschicken? Aber jetzt, erster Mann, jetzt gerät. Ja, wir haben wieder einer dieser Fälle. Noch schön weit gehangen, schön sauber. Katschef Gretsche folgt mir Katschef Böcke als Kombination. Ich hätte den Kölner hinterher. Das Element hängt ja darüber reden. Sorry for this uh, so buffering in the computer. Great job. Great job. <laughs> let's let's talk about the okay. Let's watch the. Uh, this very good. Just one. Great performance. Oh, great hand hand. This is this is Roman and this is mine from France. So welcome to the second contender. Oh, sorry for the buffering. <laughs> okay, it's a great job, Netherlands. What is the score? Now, currently, you are watching the men's high bar finals of the Figa Parados World Cup Cup 2023. Let's wait for his score. And his score is... There's really a lot of strong gymnasts in the world. You know? Martin De Beer, rank 1, 13.8, 8.2 execution, difficulty 5.6. That's a good score. But you need to be at least 14 point something score in high bar to secure a podium. From Italy. From France, Matthias Philippe from France. Matthias Philippe from France, let's welcome him. Beide Starter aus Frankreich gewinnt hier erstmal mit dem Adler halbe direkt ein Cutschiff gestreckt. Gab früher mal eine Kombination darauf, hier Stalter wirken, jetzt oh. nicht mehr. Stalter. Oh, you said buffering again. Sorry for the buffering. Because this is live streaming. Live stream will always have a buffering. Casina, come on, oh, great job for that. His executions are a little bit of basic, somewhat basic. Sukahara, great job. That's a, that's a clean uh, execution. Great job, Matteo Felipe of, e of France. That's our favorite. Kasuma Kaya, the legend Kasuma Kaya will be next. Wow. Strong hands. Ah. 
Carlo is the last to go, right? Ah, uh, yeah, finish na po. Um, parallel bars is is fi is finished, and Carlo Sulo is received the bronze medal, the silver medal for parallel bars. Um, silver medal for parallel bars. Ah, uh, Janja is uh, I forgot his name. But Matteo Levantesi from Italy and the bro the gold medal is Ilian Kofton from Ukraine. Great job. From France. Ah, Carlo Machini. Ah, okay, Machas. Great job. Ah, no, the second next is Kasuma Kaya. Kasuma Kaya now from Japan. All right. The legend Kasuma Kaya is is very consistent with his performance. It's very lovely and happy to watch Kasuma Kaya. Good job. Yes, sir. Wow, it's great job. Oh, great job. It's clean. It's a clean execution. Wow. That's a bit difficult. Eh? Wow, it's doing great. Wow. Doing great, Kasuma. I think he will be in podium with this. This is a podium performance. Double Sukar. Wow! It's a double Sukar this mount. Great job, Kasuma Kaya. It's a great execution. Woo! This is gonna be a sure podium for Kasuma Kaya. This is a podium performance. By the way, Kasuma Kaya, has just, she just finished his uh, marriage wedding uh, last month or this month, yeah, he just uh, he's a newlywed this month, February, Kasuma Kaya. I think he will be in podium with this kind of performance, this is a podium performance. His difficulty will be high. Well executed difficulties. Great job, Kasuma Kaya. I love him. <laughs> I, uh, drunk one, fourteen point one, five point ten difficulty execution, eight point two. Wow, this is a uh, this is a uh, clear podium for Kasuma Kaya. I'm very happy for the score, fourteen point one. You need to have a fourteen point something score to be in the podium. This this way, welcome Shohei Kawakami from Japan. Shohei Kawakami from Japan for high bars. I think I believe he is a debutant in the world stage senior. We didn't see him during the world championship. For Japanese, the the best um uh high bar performance in Japanese was uh, as of now is uh, Hashimoto Daiki. The former high bar specialist of Japan is um Ochimura Kohei. Every time I see Japanese, I can remember Uchimura Kohei on yon high bars. Great job! I think, I believe he is a second top qualifier in high bars. Sorry for the baffling. <laughs> Live stream is like this. Great job! Oh, there's a little bit of hesitation. Deduction for the execution. He will lose some of his uh, difficulty there. Oops! Great job, but it's still that's not a clean uh, execution of the routines. But it's fine, it's fine. Great job, Japan. Oh. 
sorry for the buffing again. Great job for Japan. Every time I see that, uh, uh, as of now, Japan, Hashimoto Daiki, is especially from Japan in the high bars. The former is uh, Kohei, like this one. Great job. It's really, really Mateo Di Vantesi is a surprise from the world stage. But first, surely for Kazumakai, even I don't like him like other Japanese channels. <laughs> I don't like Kazumakai, yeah? Rank 1! Shohei Kawakami is a rank 1. 14.166 score. Oh, it's, it's not clear, but he's 14.166. He has a difference of 0 0.066 score from Kasumakaya. <laughs> Let us watch it uh, about your um, Black Angel. I think he will be first, surely, for Kasumakaya, even I don't like him. Yeah, currently, Kasumakaya Black Angels is in second place. Because uh, Kawakawi is uh, on um, first place now. Kohei Shumasa king on the floor. Too shame as Kenzo Shirai. Yeah. Kohei Ishimura is king of the floor during his era. Kenzo Shirai. I love Kenzo Shirai. Uh, you can go and check the Instagram of Kenzo Shirai. They are now the, currently they are a coach of Japan. Currently, Uchimura Kohei is a coach, national coach now of Japan, and uh, Kenzo Shirai is also a, a coach now in Japan. I'm checking their Instagram, and they're doing well. They're happy with what they are doing, uh, building up new talents in Japan. So really, Uchimura Kohei, the best. <laughs> for high bars, Uchimura Kohei before, and now Hashimoto Daiki for high bars, the specialist of Japanese. Mm, okay, let's continue to watch, right? Carleto. Who's Carleto? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> oh, now uh, uh, there will be a second batch now of uh, gymnast. This is just a warm up. There are gymnasts are having a warm up. Hmm. It's from from Italy, I believe. He's the one from Italy. Oh, the live stream is very slow, right? This one is from uh, Spain. I believe he's from Spain. It's a big surprise. Mateo Levantesi is our surprise. Carleto. Oh, cool, cool. Janja, what country you're coming from, Janja? Yeah, uh, can you shout out, Janja, what country you're coming from? Are you from Italy? It's Maxim. Uh, I forgot his name. There's no name. Here, Starter is Sonias. From Belgium. Let's welcome the man from Belgium. Oh. Ah, ah hi, nice to meet you. From Slovenia. <laughs> Great to. Uh, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like this. But Carlo is my best friend. Ah, oh, wow! Kovac, Koma, Verbindung. Schade, hat nicht funktioniert. Oh, he fall. Hätte sonst eine Bonifikation gegeben. That will be uh, one whole point deduction. So, nochmal in der Zeitlupe. Eigentlich guter Abstand, vielleicht ein bisschen zu weit. Oh, he fall. One whole point deduction for that. Russenriesen. Hier auch nochmal die Stall der Bücke und die normale Stall der. 
jetzt nochmal Vorbereitung für den Abgang. Und zu Kahar gestreckt. In den Stand. Great job! Schöne Übung, aber höchstens Sturz wird er jetzt hier. Sayang, <lacht> oh. This man is strong. From Belgium, he, the Mr. Belgium is very strong indeed. It's just he fall. I hope for the next World Cup he can perfect this one because he will going to, to go to uh, World Cup Doha to gain some more points. Oops, yes, Chuchu boy. Sorry for the buffering because this is a live. <laughs> We're watching uh, using uh, in the complement complimentary live stream of Dutch TB. Oh, that's eight. Oops. Hmm. Let's watch the score of Mr. Belgium. Maxim Gentjes, 11 point, no, 12.266 execution score, 7.366. Okay, because of the fall, he loses one whole point. Glenn Cofton, one of the, the top performer in this uh, high bar competition championship from Ukraine. One of the top qualifier in the high bars. I hope he will do great. Great job! Wow, that's great job! Mm. Oops! Still buffering. <laughs> Sorry for the buffering of the video. It's great handstand for that. Vorbereitung für den Abgang mit einer Schalter. Das ist great executions. It's clean. But the difficulty is not that high. It's a little bit like his executions are a little bit of basic in compared to Kasumakaya. Carleto. Ah, uh, Mrs. Dovinia. Are you referring to Carleto, uh, Janja? I am from Slovenia, but Carlo is my best friend. Yeah, Carlo. Carlos Yulo is your best friend. That's good. Thank you very much for supporting Carlos Yulo. <laughs> Ian Cofton, let's watch him. It's the motion. It's really amazing job. Clean, but he have to work on more of his difficulty. You have gotten the currently the gold medal in parallel bars. Wow. Great job, Ilya Hovton. Oh, he has a great muscles. He has a big build. Currently, the Ukrainian, actually, if you will consider right now, 13.7, 13. something is still not in podium. The next will be a man from Israel. This is the name Alexander Miakinin from Israel. Okay, that's great. Mit dem Adler ganz ein bisschen drüber getont. Schon von der Auftakthöhe. Was sieht er da? Hängt er. Vollkommen. Coleman. Coleman, nice Coleman. Oh! Yeah. It's a fall. It's a fall. Minus whole point. It's a great gymnaste. These gymnasts here are having problem issues with fall. 
Yeah. See? Oh, ups. Yeah, it's better just to fall, not to recover well, than rather than rather than to continue the execution. Just fall because it's already at one whole point deduction, so that you can rest, la. Okay, continuing the executions. Great handstand. He's ready, prepare. Oh, great job. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a matter of a strategy. You're right. I agree with you, sir. I agree with you. It's me, Rich. Mirich, sabi ni, uh, it's Mirich, P-Bar, yung first and second, Tomas, ang difficulty compared to qualification, it's a matter of strategy then. Yeah, it's a matter of strategy. Tomas, yung difficulty nila eh. Nung uh, stra strategy ni, sabi ni, it's Mirich, yeah, it's a matter of strategy. Parang mababa lang yung pinakita nila noong um, qualifications, then tinasa nila yung difficulty nila during the championship sa P-Bar. I agree with you, it's me, Rich. Like the China, they're having that kind of um, strategy also. Carlos Yulo, I believe he has really to, uh, he need to upgrade his difficulty in uh, parallel bars because there are now a lot of strong gymnasts coming up. Matteo Levantesi is really a surprise from Italy. Who would know that Matteo Levantesi can be in that? And uh, Ilian Kovtum from Ukraine, he is now he is currently living in uh, Germany and he is being well prepared in Germany, being well trained in Germany now. And it's really a big bang now for the parallel bars. So we have the Matteo Levantesi and uh, Ilian Kovtum. They just need to be more consistent to retain their position in in a podium, and it would be a great threat for Carl Schulz to be in the podium, because we have now Matteo Ventesi in Ilian Kofton. Sorry for the for this one for the buffer. Alexander McKinney is is rank six, twelve point six because of the fall execution, six point something difficulty six point zero, six point eight execution score, rank six. There was a deduction in the execution score. Carlo Macini of Italy. Yes, Carlo Macini of Italy is now performing long live Carlo Macini. The top qualifier in high bars. He need to be consistent. God bless Carlo. Wait, Carlito, come on now. Yeah, bro. Sorry for the buffer, huh? Because this is a live stream from Dutch TV. I don't know why it's buffering signal. <laughs> Sorry for the disappointment. <laughs> Sorry for the disappointment of this. Uh, you know, the live stream is getting low. The internet is low. He is executed well, Carlo Macini. Great job. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Oh, great job. Wow, great job, Carlo Macini. I believe he will be in podium. Great job. I think he will be in podium, but I'm not sure if he will be in gold because we have Kasumakaya. Kasumakaya did great in, uh, no, eh, in uh, high bars also. Let's see if the oh, oh there was a uh, bending of the elbow. If you have a bending of the elbow along your execution, that will be a deduction. Like during the World Championship of um, Daiki, bending of elbow was present. See, D during the handstand. So 
Oh, great job for that. Carlito Machini. Wow. This will be a podium, clear podium for Italy. Sorry for the buffering again. <laughs> yeah, probably he gonna be in second place, Carlito Machini. Probably Kazumakaya will be in first place, or the two Japanese will be the. Let's see, watch for the score. Big hope for Carlito Machini. Yeah, bending the elbow will be a deduction. Yeah, second place, you're right. 14.133, 6.1 difficulty. Execution, 8.033. Great job. Japan is the first place. Carlito Machini is the bro uh, second place. And Kasuma Kaya, but I depend on the judge. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, so there, this is a gala performance from, from Germany. A junior do his gala performance here. Fritz Kinderman, SEC, Tornev Eve. This is the future. He is the future of German. Wow. Oh, that is strong. He did wrong. Oh, is it right? Is he doing right? I think no. Uh, he's junior, right? So it's fine. It's fine for the junior to have this kind of executions. Great job. Oh, again. Great job and congratulations for uh, congratulations for Team Italy for Carlito Machini. Wow, silver medal for Italy. Great job from the Junior Gala. <laughs> I hope I can do gymnastic again to this like this uh, young boy. Now they are going to present out the medals. So for the horizontal bar, Japan, Hosh Kawakami the first, but Carlo Machini is the second. Third is Kasuma Kaya of Japan. Ukraine, Ian Kovton in fifth place. And Netherlands, Martin De Vier is in uh, fourth. And the Belgium was in the eighth place. Maxim Gent. Great job. I'm proud of Carlo Machini. I really love Italian gymnast. And also, uh, Italy has a uh, world champion in the rhythmic gymnastics in the name of... Um, what is his name? It's the uh, Stefani. It's yeah. Wow, we're now waiting for the podium. We are now waiting for the podium awarding of the high bars. Thank, uh, congratulations, um, Carlito Machini. Yes, uh, second place and Japan for the gold and bronze. Kazumakaya. Wow, I'm happy for Kazumakaya. But if um, Hashimoto Daiki is here. Carlito Machini will be in bro uh, bronze, uh, like that. Uh, they are getting better. Yeah, they are getting better. You know, there's a lot of uh, gymnasts now that are getting better and better because it's post-COVID COVID time is finished. So the gymnasts are having a great time to practice more on gym. And the strong gymnasts before got week are getting under track. Wow, I'm so proud and happy to, to watch this kind of competition. Like, uh, let's watch the... Uh, yeah, he won in Egypt last year. Wow, that's great, it's great. So the, 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 on, the only... The challenge for Carlito Machini is to be consistent with his performance. Consistency is the key. If he can just eliminate the bending of his elbow, then he can be on gold. God willing, there will be no bending of elbow in the upcoming competitions. Congratulations, Kazumakaya. Very happy with his uh, bronze. I love his attitude, you know. Yes, Carlito Machini, our silver medalist from Italy. Bravissimo. Yeah, indeed. That's a lot of uh, buffering. It will. Uh, this is the last competition, uh, no more competition for. Wow! Congratulations, Japan, for the gold. Yeah, it's a victory for Japan. 
uh, uh, because as well, well, great to see Japan help other Asian nations be more competitive in gymnastics because many world class tournaments like World Championship Olympics need more Asian nations. Yes, we need more Asian nations to represent, right? And I Iran is there, Japan is there, Philippines is there. Japan is helping Carlos Yul of the Philippines to be in the Olympics, you know. And China, so we have Japan, we have China, and Iran, of course, Iran is a big bang, it's a big surprise. Iran is a big surprise for the world champion, for the world stage. Wow! I hope Iran will be consistent. Right. Japan, OMG. Thank you very much for uh, because his elbow is not hundred percent. Oh, Cardito Machini has a maybe a uh, like uh, injury in elbow. Oh, he's recovering. Let's watch the national anthem of Japan. The anthem of Japan is a little bit like very slow, lah. There we go, Cardito Machini. Great job! Congratulations! Congratulations! Yeah. Congratulations! Big congratulations to all of you. Here are the highlights. Let's see the watch the highlights of the hyper finals. Oh, he's still having some buffering. <laughs> Sorry for the buffering of the live stream. He's uh, the gold medalist from Japan. Was Kadito Machini. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I will have to thank you very much for watching the live stream, and I will have to make some, you know, compilation of the top three. Uh, yeah, it hurts. Uh, yeah, it has old injury, but it still hurts him sometimes. Oh, thank you very much for. Uh, Italian means is good and better than the American British for sure. <laughs> Uh, oh, uh, Black Angel, all, all are good. They're all good. <laughs> yeah, it's just something, sometimes, no, all gymnasts are good. Uh, what matters is the uh, execution during the finals. How clean they will execute it. How good they were going to execute their difficulty. What matters most is during the finals. And congratulations to all of our gymnasts. And I will have to make the top three of these. You can go, don't forget to subscribe, like in this channel. And I will make the compilation of top three of these and some golden performance of them. Kudos to Italy, kudos to Japan, kudos to Philippines, congrats Carlos Julio. And I really love Italian people. I hope that someday will Italy, you know, we have now, we have now Matteo Levantesi, a big surprise. Really, he is a big, a big bang during the European Championship and also during the Mediterranean Games. Wow, it's a great job for Matteo Levantesi. And he is consistent. But just during the World Championship, I think he has problem during the um, finals, some consistency problem. I hope Matteo Levantesi will always be consistent. And Carlos Rilo, you know, you will increase more of his difficulty in parallel bars. And because he's consistent with his uh, executions, eh? Mateo Levantesi and uh, Ian Cofton, they are having a good, uh, they are have a good chance to be in the podium more. And they, Carlos Julio can be out of the podium if he will, you know, to maintain that kind of, ano, that kind of uh, difficulty. Because right now, gymnasts are really in the, this kind of high levels of executions and they are showing a lot of great job. Mateo is great, just nerves get the best of him. Yeah, Mateo Levantesi is really great. It's just the nerves is, um, you know, it's 
something hitting on him, if he can manage it well, if he can address that kind of nurse he's feeling during the championship, then for sure, surely he can be in the podium, you know? And yeah, let's pray for all of our gymnasts and thank you very much for being with me in this in this live. God bless you all. I will have to end it. See you all after six days. And I have to uh, again update because after six days, March 1 is the um, World Cup for Doha. March 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. It will be March 1 to March 3. Yeah, it's actually March 1 to March 4. Yeah, March 1 to March 4. So after this competition, immediately, uh, uh, Maris McLennig Han said from Ireland that they're going to straight fly to Doha, Qatar. And it will be a great challenge, you know. The weather in Qatar is challenging because in Katbus right now is 6 degrees. It's still winter in uh, Katbus, Germany. While here in uh, Middle East, because now I'm here in Oman, same with the uh, weather in Qatar. It's not that too much hot, it's fine, but there is a uh, humidity and it will affect the, the performance again because the gymnasts and athletes will adjust to the weather. But this weather right now in Oman or in Middle East is the same weather in the Philippines. So this would be advantageous for the Asian countries like the Philippines because uh, the weather we have now in Middle East is the same as the weather that we, ha that we are having in uh, Qatar or here in Oman. But for the European people, it will be a great adjustment. It's my, it is, yeah, to, for Slovenia, it is snowing, but uh, now in Oman, it's finished, the snow is finished. We have now, I think it's 21 degrees, so it's just a little bit of some, the, the weather will affect again the performance. I believe the European has a, during the Scottish World Cup, it was an advantage for them because the weather is just the same. So they, they did not adjust with the uh, weather time frame is yeah thinking just in time time frame but the weather it really affects the performance of an athlete okay yeah even in Katsubus wow it's snowing and then they will come here in Qatar or yeah in Middle East in uh, yeah and the weather is is fine it's, it's, it's no snow here now because the snow is finished um we are now this spring is starting now in Middle East so it will be a great adjustment abrupt adjustment for the athlete to adjust in the weather okay so thank you very much don't forget to subscribe like in this channel and i will have to end now this um, live stream see you all after six days and uh, shout out for janja Klankar of slovenia thank you very much and black angel uh okay shout out to the life of pyrus Bro, it's me, Rich. Shout out to you. Thank you very much for all who watched this live stream. And God bless all of you. And yeah, it's a great show for all of us. And I hope that the only challenge for the gymnasts, especially for Matteo, Matteo Libantesi, yeah, Carlito Machini, the challenge for them is to be consistent. To be consistent on their performances. Be have a nice day. Yeah, bye. Have a, yeah, bye too. Bye. Thank you very much, uh, Janja. Yeah, as I said, the 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 Vantesi, Cardito Machini, you know, they have to 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 be consistent more. Ilian Tovton to be consistent more. Japan is given. They're they're good, but you know, Carlos Yulo to be consistent more to upgrade more of his skills, and the Italian to be consistent more in Ukraine. And I love people to beat china <laughs> not to be china you know to be china in the gymnastics because they are good no to see people who will rise up in gymnast not only china or not only japanese but all people from japan in some part some asian countries and american you know to be on the top of the podium thank you very much and god bless you all i love you all don't forget to subscribe like and share in this channel god bless goodbye and see you after six days just uh, uh wait for a while because i will have to edit this video i will have make the top three and some highlights also for us to to share to our, our um to our community god bless thank you uh signing off chris rd gymnastic channel from oman oh wait, wait. it's uh i will have to turn this off and it's hard to find by the way, I want you to show. I want to show to you my dog. Um, I have dog here. His name is Choo Choo. <laughs> He's here. Hi Choo Choo. Hi to them. Hi. It's with me. <laughs> Choo Choo is here. <laughs> He's like here. He's my support here. Oh, it was three hours. They're doing a live stream. Goodbye, everyone. Choo Choo, bye now. Bye now for them. Bye. Oh, bye bye. Bye.
Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye, Chuchu. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs>